Hey, what's up, y'all? So, kind of being lazy on reading, and I'm like parked somewhere where I really have no fucking choice. I mean, I kind of tired of going for a run. Um, I want to walk up the hill, but there's all these like macho county worker men like at the entrance of the hill, and I kind of know the guy. I guess he's a main, the main supervisor, gentleman. I actually have him on a vlog one time, having a conversation with him. So I feel like a little uncomfortable. I don't want him to question me recently about the art that I did. Like on the walls that they're always like painting over. I didn't write nothing disrespectful at all. So I'm not sure if they maybe, cause they're here for some reason. I don't know what, what kind of work they're doing on the trail. Maybe they had to like clean the trail or something. Um, I don't know, I'm just faded. Like it's like middle of the day where it's like, I was too tired of kicking it at McDonald's. I just felt like I want to move. But in the morning, because where I'm at right now, I spent the night here. In the morning, the county workers were here. I just took off, and they see me in the morning. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a county worker coming right now, Loki, which I don't really know. But there's like one car parked right here, and some girls coming right now. And um, I think always it's always the same person. It's a regular, so I feel weird about that, too. Even though, I don't know, I just feel weird about that. The people seeing me in my car and they're like, the regulars, they don't talk to me or nothing. Most people don't talk to anybody unless they come with people. But, um, yeah, so, I feel like running, but then I don't feel like running. Mostly because those guys are there in the front of the, like, the entrance. I just feel like fucking running, I don't know. Man. I'm just thinking negative, like, wondering what they're thinking about me, you know? That's pretty much what I'm focusing on. And, um, and when I also think about how like, I'm always alone, what people must perceive of me. I don't know, maybe I'm going through this to share with you guys. I'm not really alone, I got like people that support me on YouTube. I'm not alone, I just kind of like would rather be like this, like mellow and faded and on my own, you know? If you, if you know yourself more, I think people like people that are blessed. Like I know this girl on Instagram. I don't have Instagram no more, but I kind of barely kind of. I don't know how she's like familiar, but I started following her. She's beautiful. She owns a home in a. But I think she came from a place where like her parents like there was a, probably like a dark period in her life where her parents weren't getting along or might did drugs and stuff but I think they're still together like they still fought to be together I don't know much I just know from what I'm putting together by these pictures I see and the stories you know everything from Instagram but I would always be like man like those are the blessed ones that like go through shit like people in like maybe foster care the ones that really or people that really for some reason that all angles of life made them this way you know they could have went to drugs if something was different maybe if they, like, like, what's crazy is, like, people who never had a mom and dad don't have nothing to kind of go off of. Like, don't have no, no, no idea or, like, fucked up role model to go after. So they have, like, no, no family. And those people were, like, probably, like, fuck this. One day I'm gonna have my own shit, my own home. And those are, like, what I'm saying, those are the blessed ones, you know? If I would've knew myself more back then when I was, like, 20. Except I think, uh, relying on my family or really just not even thinking maybe not even thinking too much about the future about like man I'm gonna be 30 and I'm gonna want a place to be comfortable a place of my own you know my own space you know and, uh, not that I, I'm gonna want it I'm gonna need it like you're not gonna want it you're gonna need it you know what I'm saying so I don't know I feel good talking right now I was gonna read this book I'll probably do it in the next video, but that's just how I feel right now. I want to go for a run, and but I'm, I know my body's tired. But I know the way I eat, and because I'm out and about, I'm probably gonna eat unhealthy later. I'm kind of craving a 7-Eleven pizza anyway. Uh, I counted my money. I'm not broke, you know, but. I haven't really went to go recycle recently. 
And um, so like, it's, it's slowly going back down, you know, having, if you're not making money, it's not going up, but you know, um, yeah, but I'm just still staying positive, I'm trying to fucking just be positive, you know? And um, yeah, I thought I seen Odin right now. I seen his car, but it was somebody else. It was like the exact same car, but it wasn't his because I looked at the license plate and it just had differences, but it was very similar. I just noticed there was a lot of people in it. Uh, maybe they enjoyed hiking or something. Who the fuck knows? Maybe they were just kicking it. Because when I originally drove by, I had seen the workers and I just, like, I'm going to go somewhere else. But then I was like, nah, fuck that. Like, I have nowhere else to go and I'm probably going to go for my run. But then now that I'm chilling here, I guess these county people, because I'm assuming that supervisor guy's gonna want to come talk to me, just to be nosy. He's like a nosy guy. I guess this is his shit, you know. I don't know. I just, I rather him not talk to me. I rather, when if he comes here, I rather say like I'm good. Like, and if he has any problems or anything more to say, he'll say it. You know, I'll just listen to him, and I'll just say, okay, dude. Like, they're not, they're not cops. They're not gonna be here overnight. You know. They go home, you know? Like, I don't hear a car. Might be from over there. There's this car that's been here for like a couple weeks and it's a pretty sick ass vehicle. I don't want to show it, but it's like my homie Carlos is like, it's like the same car as my homie Carlos has that's lifted. Maybe a little like older, but you know, that, that round body, you know, this car, they used to have it square. My homie had a square one before, a white one. He knows what I'm talking about. Then as they got older, they went more round. But they're lifted with, like, big tires. It's an SUV, you know? But it's been here for, like, fucking a couple weeks. I had seen when they... I don't remember the exact fucking person's face, but I remember the day they dropped it off. They even caught, like, a little dusty on it. I put, be happy. <laughs> I'm looking at it right now. But um, now I'm going to erase that shit. Um, shout out my homie Frog. Put him. I like not going for a run and eating how I did this morning, like McDonald's and stuff. I'm thinking like, fuck, I'm gonna be slow. Like, I wanted to go play basketball too. That's another thing, but I don't know. I was doing a lot of art today, so I was a little emotional today. And, um, I don't know. I just, I'm not gonna like try to pretend or get into that depressed mode I'm, I just feel chill right now like I feel lonely but I feel chill like I just feel I have my door open right here the wind's blowing I just have some money in my pocket my car made it here I think what's happening because I'm not really driving a lot but I do use the battery a lot so I think my battery's a little low right now because I haven't been driving a lot like in order for your battery to have that fully charged it's has to be driven you know that's like the give and take like to drive it's to waste gas but it's also to have a strong battery so i'm thinking i might go to uh auto zone later like when it gets a little darker and i might go uh, have them charge my battery for me just so it's strong and i can use it for my phone and stuff but like i said I, I don't really drive it a lot but i use the battery a lot so uh, i want to keep it strong you know and um I'm not charging my phone, I'm under 10%. So that's just where my mind's at. Hope you guys are having a good day. Stay positive, you know. Remember reality. Remember who you are. Remember where you don't want to be and where you want to go, you know. You got to, man. You got to fight. You got to fight, man. You got to be positive. Be silent. Be still. Be understanding, you know, of yourself and of others and of your feelings. There's their story, there's your story, and there's the right way. Just come compromise moving forward, moving forward. Not to the left, not to the right, moving forward. Peace, y'all. Peace. It's okay to rest. Peace. I'm saying this, but I'm, somebody's telling me it's okay also to not fucking stuff your face with the whole pizza. As if, like, that's my conscience. That's the good in me always trying to keep. But then is that, I don't know. Even maybe just trying to be on a super strict diet sounds like a thing that hard to do but it's everything hard to do what we should do i don't know i don't know
but I feel good right now. Yeah, I'm gonna read a little chapter of this book. I gotta find somewhere else that like gives me Wi-Fi. That's the only McDonald's I know that really offers Wi-Fi. Like you just show up there, you don't gotta buy nothing. You can be outside of it, and it gives you Wi-Fi. I feel like they don't give a fuck because it's right off the freeway, and that shit's probably one of the wealthiest corners in fucking Los Angeles. That McDonald's corner. They probably don't give a fuck about uh, people using Wi-Fi, which I'm grateful for. I mean, I can still go back there. I'm just fucking saying shit, you know? Oh, yeah, peace.